down due yeah. from above you have yeah. and let the and bring forth the Savior. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome everyone to our evening mass here at Mullion. Lovely to see so many people here this evening. Today we are, as you can see from the candles, at the fourth Sunday of Advent. Christmas is nearly here. You will find all the mass on the double uh, folded sheet, all the ordinary bits we say every week, and the special bits for today are on the Redemptorist sheet, that's got the collect and the readings on it. That's new to us here, um, they've been using them at Falmouth for a while, but now that they're available uh, on, um, so that I can print them, um, Hilary has made them available for us here, so I've this saves me having to write a mass sheet every week, which is good news. But there are bits that, we, that aren't on there that I like to use as well. So you'll find on the, pen, on the purple sheets uh, a penitential rite and also the preface for today, which isn't on that sheet. So there's little extra bits there. And using that purple sheet, we prepare ourselves for our celebration. Today, readings are examples of seeking wisdom and trying to work out the best thing to do. David wants to know if he should build a magnificent piece of architecture as God's dwelling place, whilst Mary wonders how she can be the one who provides the precious dwelling for the unborn Son of God. Brothers and sisters, let us reflect on the times this week when we have tried to fathom what we should be doing next. We thank the Lord for being with us as a guide and a good counsellor, and we ask his mercy. Lord, you call us to ponder like Mary and to try to make compassionate and just decisions in our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you have given us your wisdom as your gift to share with others. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are in our midst this Christmas. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. from the second book of Samuel. Once David had settled into his house and the Lord had given him rest from all the enemies surrounding him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, look, I am living in a house of cedar while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan said to the king, go and do all that is in your mind for the Lord is with you. But that very night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, thus the Lord speaks. Are you the man to build me a house to dwell in? I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, 
to be leader of my people Israel. I have been with you on all your expeditions. I have cut off your enemies before you. I will give you fame as great as the fame of the greatest on earth. I will provide a place for my people Israel. I will plant them there and they shall dwell in that place and never be disturbed again. Nor shall the wicked continue to oppress them as they did in the days when I appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give them rest from all their enemies. The Lord will make you great. The Lord will make you a house. And when your days are ended and you are laid to rest with your ancestors, I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and make his sovereignty secure. I will be a father to him and he a son to me. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me and your throne be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. I will sing a song forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing a song forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing a song forever of your love, O Lord. To all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. And I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love for him always. For him my covenant shall endure. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Glory to him who is able to give you the strength <coughs> to live according to the good news I preach, and in which I proclaim Jesus Christ, the revelation of a mystery kept secret for endless ages, but now so clear that it must be broadcast to the pagans everywhere to bring them to the obedience of faith. This is only what scripture has predicted, and is all part of the way the eternal God wants things to be. He alone is wisdom. Give, give glory, therefore, to him through Jesus Christ for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. <coughs> the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the handmaid of the Lord, and what you have said be done to me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow, and so the child will be holy, and will be called Son of God. Know this, too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she, whom people call barren, is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. 
let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. The homily for today, of course, is on the sheets. Please do take it home and read it quietly at home. Just a thought to leave with you. That is the importance of ancestry, which is what I talk about in the homily. And here we are told that the Lord will he will rule over the house of Jacob, that he will be the descendant of David. This ancestry was important to the Jewish way of thinking. And of course, we know our own ancestry is important too. We may have skeletons in our cupboards from far away, perhaps some criminal ancestry or ancestors who were less pleasant than we would hope them to be. And we make excuses, always trying to find the, the good side of them. Here, it was important for Mary that she knew what was going to happen to her was true. Because if she was found to be pregnant and not married, under the law of Moses, she could be stoned. There would be disgrace for her, disgrace for her parents. It would be dreadful. But the angel proves that what he said is true by showing her another miracle, that her cousin Elizabeth has also conceived a son. And so Mary knows that what's said will be true, and so she accedes to the Lord's wish. Let what you have said be done to me. She doesn't worry about any possible shame. She knows because it's God's will, all will turn out right in the end. Stand and make our profession of faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Please sit, we prepare you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed is the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. As without end we proclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael, our patron, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, 
the order of bishops or the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. But by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. And so offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my soul, but only save the word, and my soul shall be. Lord, 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 the body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Any special blessing? Um, reminder, tickets are available for Mass here on Christmas Eve if you would like one. Um, if you need tickets for Helston, leave your name and I'll make sure they're waiting for you in the porch there. In the porch here you'll find a little sheet I've done. The Pope has declared this year to be the year of St. Joseph. I didn't know anything about it. I suddenly read about it on the um, website for the Bishop's Conference. It started uh, on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, so we're already a fortnight into it. But if you want to know a little bit more about the feast and about St. Joseph, there is a sheet in the porch with his name on. I think that's the important thing. Mass here on Christmas Eve is at 8 o'clock. Um, everybody is welcome, but you will need a ticket. So you'll, have, you'll get one today if you haven't got one already. Have I forgotten anything? No, that's good. Thanks for change. Do you want to mention the Masses during the week? Because it's Christmas and then Tuesday, isn't it? That's right, yes. There is a Mass here on Tuesday of well Christmas as, week at 11 o'clock in the morning. As well as Saturday. Uh, as well as the normal Saturday evening. So. Next Saturday, of course, will be Boxing Day, um, but we're not keeping St. Stephen, we, it'll be the vigil for the Holy Family. So, next Saturday evening, but before that, um, after that, rather. No. Bad enough, thinking about this coming week without the week after that. The week after that, there is an extra Mass on the Tuesday, because the Bishop understands that we can't all get to Mass over a Christmas period. It may be too dark, we may not be able to, and so he says, keep Christmas Mass any time during the week of Christmas. So if you come to any of the Masses during Christmas week, that's the same as being here for Christmas. Thank you for that reminder. I say there is a special blessing for us to use in Advent. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Bow your heads for God's blessing. May the Almighty and Merciful God by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may you make be firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We end the Mass with the anthem to Our Lady in Advent, the Alma Redemptoris Martyr. Mother of Christ, hear thou thy people's cry, star of the deep and portal of the sky. Mother of him who thee from nothing made, sinking we strive and call to thee for aid. But by that joy which Gabriel brought to thee, thou virgin first and last, let us thy mercy see.
Chris told me on the way in. Yeah. 